guys, I'm so sick. <laughs> no, I lit on fire. It's gone. Where did the Tic Tacs go? Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today, whoa, oh, my hair is pretty crazy today. You know, as always. Anyway, guys, we're gonna be trying some life hacks from the video. Ten best school hacks, DIY school supplies, school craft, and funny situations by Crafty Panda. Bring on the school hacks. Here's a quick and easy way to sneak your phone into school without anyone noticing. First thing you want to do is get some fabric and safety pin that fabric right on your jeans. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe make it look a little less suspicious. Put a patch on there or something. Yeah, not bad. Hot glue some more patches on. Then you put some Velcro on that bad boy so the flap just kind of comes down. Then you just add some elastic bands to hold your phone. Yeah, no one will ever suspect a thing. Just slip your phone right in there. That's amazing. Easy access to your phone when you're sitting down. And the best part is, your teacher's never gonna suspect a thing. This one seems simple enough. Let's try it. So here are our pants. Lay that out, nice and flat. Here's our fabric. Wow, this one really blends in. I'm not complaining, but oh man, I hope the camera can even see this. Then we get our safety pins. And just safety pin this fabric right on. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Then we get our Velcro. Slap that right on there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Does my phone fit? I should have probably checked before I put the fabric on. Nope, it uh, <laughs> it doesn't fit. I do have this half of an iPhone from a video a while ago. That might fit. Uh, it's a tough call. <gasps> oh no. Man, I just suck at this. Holy cow. Oh my god. I guess the only thing to do is uh, add the little straps. Boop boop. Okay, let that cool down a little bit. Woo! Okay guys, the hot glue is all cooled down. Let's try these bad boys on. Oh, oh wow, now I'm in another pair of black pants. So I don't actually have a phone small enough to fit inside this pocket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use some Tic Tacs. Here we go. Wow, these are actually holding the Tic Tacs pretty nicely. That's hilarious. Whoa, it's gone. Where did the Tic Tacs go? And the best part is when I sit down, I can still access my Tic Tacs. Perfect. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Do not cheat on your test. I have a solution for you. Just uh, get that tear in your pants and just peel it up a little bit and write all the answers on your knee. Now when it's test day, all you gotta do is when the teacher's not looking, just peel back the little part of your pants and you have all the answers. Wow, so convenient. I feel like this is almost just like blatant cheating at this point. Like, what? <laughs> what even? This is like cheating 101. I'm not even gonna try this one. On to the next one. Is your glue just way stuck? It's just not coming out. Come on, glue. What are you doing? <gasps> glue, get out and they just all burst out. Oh, that looks so ah! No, that's not good. Got it all over him. And her. Glue? No purpose? It's just glue all over it. I think I can fix it. All you gotta do is get some olive oil and just let that glue cap soak right in there. Just let it soak. Keep it in for a few minutes. And when you pull it out, all you gotta do is wipe it off with a napkin. Good as new. Well, time to see if this one works. Okay, right, guys, so here is our glue. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff just really stuck on there. So we're gonna go ahead and break out our olive oil. Take this cap off. Boop and boop. Go ahead and drench that, you know? I'm gonna mix it around for a little bit. And now we have to let it sit for a couple minutes. So uh, I guess I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and let it do that. Ding! So yeah, that's been sitting in there for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and uh, wipe it off. Oh my gosh. Wow, it looks like the glue's actually coming off. What does this mean? Oh, whoa. Wow, it just peeled off. I'm not sure if it would have done that anyway, but um, well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. Don't have an eraser? Oh no, what are we gonna do? I'm right in the middle of a test right now. Bread. Oh, what, bread? What? <laughs> All you gotta do is take a little piece of bread and just use that as an eraser. I have a hard time believing that this will actually work. Crafty Panda, you guys are trolling. You guys are like straight trolling right now. I don't believe it. <laughs> well, let's try it. So here's our paper, here's our pencil. Let's go ahead and uh, draw something really quick. Oh wait, let's just sit upside down smiley face. Wow. Anyway, yeah, that should work. Go ahead and get our bread. Take out a little piece, but will it erase? This definitely does not seem to be working. Uh, that's not working at all. Maybe I should try the other side. 
Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely not working. So I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So you're in the middle of class and Brad just keeps shooting spitballs at you. Oh, that's disgusting, Brad. You know we're in a freaking pandemic right now, right? Happy just slobbering your spit everywhere. So you're gonna get some revenge. What you gotta do is get a paper clip, take some pliers and bend that bad boy into like a Y shape. Make a couple little holes where you can put your rubber band. Wow, looks pretty good. Now you got yourself a little slingshot. Oh my god, what? Where did it come from? You really got, got him. him. Fun fact, guys, when I was little, uh, I used to love slingshots. At one point, I actually made a giant one. Like, it was taller than me. We would fling these rocks that were just huge. And a couple of them uh, kind of landed in the middle of my neighbor's yard. Okay, so here are our paper clips. We only really need one, so, you know. I picked this blue one, because it matches my hair. Well, half my hair, anyway. Now all we gotta do is bend it into a Y shape. Before I bend it into a why I'm actually gonna make it into an L because it was kind of uneven. Then we get our rubber band. Just slap this puppy on. They cut theirs in half, but I don't think I really need to because with the way they did it, I don't know how like exactly you would hold the paper on there. So what I'm gonna do is kind of cut it like this. And then you just fold your pieces of paper like that. There we go. Put it on the slingshot like this. Time to test this puppy out. Let's see, I am about uh, 10 inches away from the can. That it was loud. I'm just gonna go all out on this one. Here we go. And <gasps> we knocked it down, but from like a foot away. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one kind of works. Yeah, and uh, you can use this to fling papers. Easy peasy. Oh wow, looks like uh, Burger King is getting a shout out. Wait, but burger spelled wrong. What the heck? That's kind of weird. Anyway, LA vibes. Are they trying to like pull off that they're in California? Interesting. Okay guys, so you're at school and you accidentally get coffee all over your brand new white shirt. Oh no. What about, I don't want to be embarrassed in front of Josh. Every boy here is Josh. Every single boy's name is Josh. I need a quick change. All you gotta do is take uh, your arm out of your sleeve like that, put it, uh, put the new shirt over you, and then just casually slide it off your arm. Wow. And just like that, you changed. Wow. She changed. And now it's time for me to change. Okay guys, so here's our shirt. And uh, all I gotta do is take my sleeve off on one arm, put the shirt on normally. Oh, oh yes. Now I have to carefully slide out of this sleeve. It's like I'm in a straight jacket. Oh, can I do it? No, my arm went back in the sleeve. Oh. And then, oh, just gotta pull it out of my neck hole. And, woo, woo, oh my gosh. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Do you have a habit of binding on your hoodie laces? And your aglets just get so messed up. All you gotta do is take a straw, cut a little piece off of that bad boy, and just slide the straw right over your shoelaces. There you go, new aglet. All you gotta do is melt the straw. Is this how aglets are made? Is this how babies are made? I never knew. Well, I'm excited to try this one. Okay, right, guys, so I don't have any extra uh, shoelaces on me, but I do have a bunch of this rope, which is like the same size as a, as like a shoelace. So I think it'll, it's good enough. Here are our straws. Gonna cut a little piece off of this. Go ahead and cut our straw. Slide it right over. Then we just add some fire. Well, this is embarrassing. Why does no one like? Okay, I added some Zippo fluid. There's a little bit. Cooking over an open flame. Just have to melt it. Be really gentle and just melt it. Is it working? I mean, it's kind of working so far. I think the trick here is not to light it on fire. <gasps> no, I lit it on fire. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try the other side. Okay, here we go. Really slowly. Really slowly. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, this is not working at all. I was actually really hoping that this one would work. Then I could just replace my aglet so easily. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so you wake up. Oh my gosh, there's a test today. Oh man, that sucks. And I didn't even study for it. Well, I have a solution for you. All you gotta do is get some lipstick and put some under your eyes like that. Put a little dot on your nose. Blend it all in. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so cold. I'm so sick. I'm sick. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't go to school today, mommy. I'm so sick. <laughs> this was me literally like all the time when I was a little kid. I would skip so much school. Kids, make sure to stay in school. Okay, so this is pretty simple. Uh, you ready for this? 
Ooh. All we gotta do is uh, add it underneath our eyes. Oh, this is pink. Hey, it's close enough. A little bit on our nose, and then we just blend it in. God, this looks like I have lipstick on my eyes. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one, guys. Oh, actually, I do kind of look sick. Maybe I could add some like right here. <laughs> guys, I'm so sick. <laughs> well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Look some at this fight right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys wanna watch me try even more fun life hacks and crafts, I actually have a whole playlist that you can watch right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys wanna see clips from these videos for the combat sometimes, I'm uploading those to my clips. You can click right here. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can click the mystery card. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward, honey? Okay, bye. Ah!